Hi, it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel. With this video, I want to show you how you can create this edit. So now let's get started. First, we need to create the title intro. So you can click on new project. If you can find the title logo with transparent background, you can just import it. But since I did not, I'm going to click on stop videos. Click on the transparent background. Then I'm going to click on format 916. Then click on canvas. I'm going to import a background that I want to use. Now I click on overlay, add overlay to import the logo that I found. Since this kind of have a black grayish background, I'm going to use the splice function to remove it. So I'm going to click on splice. I'm going to use lighten. And I'm going to enlarge this. Then you click on the logo clip, go to animation, click on combo. Then you would use the transit to And now you will export this. Now we will create a new project. With the new project, you will import the clip that we just created, an overview picture of the anime, and then you will import 10 pictures of the character. I'm just going to show you how to do one. The rest character will be the same process. So you will import 10 pictures. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then after that, you would have a clip of the scene from the animation of the character. On the overlay track, you will also import a picture of the character with transparent background. Now let's go edit the clip. So you would click on the clip and then you would move it to where the logo just show and then click on split. And then you would delete that part. So this clip is about 2.6 seconds. And then for the next clip, you would trim it down to about 1.3 seconds. Then with the 10 pictures of the character, you would trim it down to 0 0.01 seconds, which is the shortest amount that you can go. So you just scroll all the way down to the edge. And then for the last scene, you would trim it down to 0.7 seconds. It's really small to edit like this, so you would zoom in with two finger, So we can see the picture better and easier to click. So now let's go add in animation. So for the overview picture, we can click on it. Click on animation. Click on combo. Then we go all the way down to choose bounce one. Now click on the next picture, click on animation, click on in, and then you would choose zoom out. And then you can just slide to the next one to select zoom out again for the rest of the 10 pictures. And then let's click on overlay. Now let's go edit the overlay picture. So click on overlay. So for the overlay picture, you would want to align with the first picture of the 10 picture. And then you would go to the last picture of the 10th picture. And then click on split and then delete. So for this picture, the duration is one second. Then you would click on the overlay picture again, click on animation, combo. Then you would go down to select Pendrum 1 or Pendrum 2. Pendrum 1 would slide from the left side and Pendrum 2 would slide out from the right side. 
So you will alternate from Pendulum 1 and Pendulum 2. So for example, if this one used Pendulum 1, and then for the next character, you can use Pendulum 2, and then for the third character, you can use Pendulum 1 and just repeat that process. So this is how it looks like with the edit of first character. So you just repeat the process for the rest of six characters. So this is what you would have after you adding all the characters in. So now we can import the music. You can click on audio, extract, and then you can just click on the clip that has the music. Lastly, we would add a blink effect for the first one. So you would click on effects, click on blink. You can select whichever one you like. I'm selecting vintage one. And then you align it with the first clip. So that's how you can make this edit. I hope the process is easy for you to follow. I hope you try this out with your favorite anime characters or any people that you like. Um, hope you have fun with this process. If you learned something new, please consider like and subscribe. And comment down below if this is easy for you to follow. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.